Welcome to Meeps Math Matters. Today we're going to be looking at how to add up a bunch of numbers in a really fast way. Now, this is going to start with a story involving Carl Friedrich Gauss, who was a math prodigy, meaning he was a math smart aleck from a very young age. And I am sure he was a pain in the butt to his teachers in class because he'd get his work done too fast and start bugging all the other kids. Does that sound familiar? Anyway, one day the teacher decided to occupy little Carl's time and say, Okay, Carl, I've got a problem just for you. I want you to add 1 plus 2 plus 3, you know, all the way up to 100. The teacher figured that little Carl would take 1, then add 2, okay, I'm at 3, add 3, I'm at 6, add 4, I'm at 10, etc., up to 100, and that this would occupy him for some time. No. Little Gauss came back and said, oh, it's 5,050. Really quick. How did he do that? I'm going to show you how he did that, and also how you can generalize this to any number of numbers. That we're going to look at the sum of 1 up to some arbitrary whole number n. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to write the numbers that we want to add up along the top here. I've got 1, 2, 3, up to 100. I'll put 100 over here. I'll 99, 98, etc. Okay, I'm going to represent these numbers with dots. So here's one dot, two dots, three dots. We'll make them line up so it's like a triangle. Okay, so now here, okay, so there are going to be 100 dots. Now, I am going to do the same thing on the bottom but going backwards. So underneath the 100, I'm going to put 1. And I'm going to go backwards. Under the 99 is 2. Under the, the 3, I'm going to have 98. Under the 2 is 99. And under the 1 is 100. Okay, so let me put in these dots. Okay. up to here. Now notice I've got two large triangles going on here. So I just put in the dividing line. But notice each column here, I have a 100 plus 1, that's going to be 101. 99 plus 2, again 101. 98 plus 3, again 101. So I am creating a rectangle that this side has 101 and the number of columns that is 100. So if I want to count up the total number of dots here, okay, this is a rectangle, it's the number of rows, which is 101, times the number of columns, which is 100. So I'm going to put this in the middle here. Total number of dots equals 100 times 101. However, notice we're taking the sum we're interested in, 1 plus 2 plus 3, all the way up to 100, and we've got it twice here. So the sum, 1 plus 2 plus 3, up to 100, is that 100 times 101 divided by 2. So that's 50 times 101, which is 5,050. And that's how Gauss did it. He noticed this pattern and looked at how he could do the addition without having to actually do the addition. 1 plus 2 plus 3. Now I'm going to look at the general case. General case is where I have 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to some arbitrary n. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing as we did before. We have 1, 
to, okay, so let me write the numbers above. So now I have my triangle of dots to create this number. Now I'm going to do it backwards, remember, on the bottom. So again, I have my two triangles, okay? And there are a total number, so each column is n minus 1 dots, okay, so that's n minus 1 rows, number of columns is n. So the sum is, I'm sorry, this is n plus 1, beg your pardon, mistakes do happen, n times n plus 1, and remember we see it twice, so we divide by 2. And that is how you can sum up any numbers from 1 up to n. Try it out at your next party. I'm sure people will be impressed. Now, uh, one last item. These numbers that are n times n plus 1 over 2, they have a name. Triangular numbers. And you can see why. They create a triangle. Okay, this one two, three, you see this nice triangle being created, and so anything of this form is triangular numbers. So what are they? Well, you start with one, because that's just adding one with itself, then three, six, ten, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, and it continues on. These triangular numbers show up in all sorts of places. I'll talk about some other ways of adding up these kind of numbers. This is called, by the way, a series, okay, and in particular an arithmetic series. I will do an episode some other time about how you get the sum for an arithmetic series in general. As always, you can contact me at marypat.campbell at gmail.com. And be sure to spread the math love.